Hello everybody, in today's session we're going to look at the One Second Everyday Video Diary app. Now this isn't strictly photography, but you can use photography images and what this app does is it creates a video diary, so it turns them into almost like a video slideshow type thing. It's a fantastic app, it's free, um, and what you do is you can set up different projects inside of it and you can give yourself creative challenges. So let's download this app and we'll dive in and I'll show you how to use it. I use this app all the time. So I did a whole 365 day photography competition with myself where I took a picture every day and at the end it turns out into a little movie for you, which is fantastic. As you can see, it's quite a good app. It's got good reviews on the app store. Let's download it and let's start. Okay, so I'm in the app and first you get this welcome to one SE. So let's just have a quick look. So it virtually gives you a whole tutorial on how to use it, but I'm gonna be honest, it's mega simple. In terms of using the app, all you need to do is take a picture once a day. That's it, the app does the rest. Obviously, you're a lot more creative than that, so you're gonna not just take one picture, you're gonna take a really amazing picture and you're really gonna push your photography skills because you've done this course, so you're really interested in photography and you're really interested in smartphone photography and whether you have additional equipment or not doesn't make a difference with this app. Okay, so, here are just some of the, the settings and technical features that I'm going through so you can see how it all works really. Basically, this is what the app will do. People take a second video. I use photos personally. Um, but again, feel free to use it however you want to use it. Okay, so let's move on and let's start up a project. So you can have my 1SE, which is a journal. So that's preset for you. You can have a freestyle collaboration. You have to pay for that. Unlimited projects, you also have to pay for that. So we're going to use the free version. So I'm just going to click journal there at the bottom. Or if I go to the top, freestyle, which is much more about me creating the images I want to create. So I'm just going to call this, um, what should I call this? Okay, I'll call this photography class. Great. So what that do, if I slide across now, that will give me my own photography class journal there. So if I um, go back and if I just click that, I can add photos. So I can take photos on the fly or I can add photos as and when I've taken them. So let me just scroll down. I'm just going to add a photo for now. So this is all my camera roll. So you'll see lots of images for um, this course on there. But as you can see, this is a still image, but what it's doing is it's making it into a video. So I can kind of change it to landscape if I want. I can have it to portrait. I can create like a moving effect so I can flip it, rotate it. I can change the length if I want to, but what this will do, it will almost give it a Ken Burns, so it'll just slide it in and out for us. So it's not a true movie. So you get a very basic functions. So I can give it a caption if I want, or I can copy this to the journal. So I've just saved that. That's it. That's my image for today. So as I go through this, I can add images in and I build up a really cool document um, of my photography experiment or of my year or even it could be even shorter. It could just be a week in pictures, for example. So that's the uh, one photo a day SE app. It's free on iOS, so it will absolutely be free on Android. So guys, download the app, have a play, set yourself some really interesting creative challenges. Do share them with me and I'll see you soon.